<laughs> you got the morning wake up with Seller and Bjorn. Again, we're really, really excited to have one of our best selling New Zealand singer songwriters in history. Let me put that out there. And she's home for a one night only concert at Auckland's Spark Arena in June. Alongside, by the way, the full Auckland Philharmonia Orchestra. And we're just excited and wrapped that she's in studio with us this morning. Kia ora and good morning, Brooke Fraser. Morena. Morena. <laughs> so excited to see you, Brooke. And I know a lot of our audience will be very excited to be plugging in as well. You've been a, a Life FM favourite for many, Aww. many years. Oh, guys. And welcome back to New Zealand. I know you don't sort of base yourself here anymore, but we wanted to start it with a gift. Yep. Oh, okay. Look out. Yep. Hey, it's been a little while since you've been home, right? So we thought the morning wake up, we thought we'd give you a gift, a oh, little no, bit of taste of home. Yeah, it's a real gift. I thought it was gift. a mean one. No. no. <laughs> oh, this is... A little bit of taste of home. Oh, can you, my Can you pull it? Gosh. What have you got? What are you okay, pulling sorry, out? Okay, sorry. It's radio. Yeah. I've got to describe yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, okay. What are you out? So the first thing I'm pulling out of yeah. this bag is marshmallow, pineapple lump, biscuits... <gasps> eggs. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Yum. Okay. Twisties. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. A party bag size even. Nice. That's not even like a little snack well, size like in the school well. lunches. Yeah. 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 Twisties. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What else, what else have we got? <gasps> Jelly dump. <laughs> yeah. oh, we've read, we've oh done our research. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, a pie. A big Ben steak and cheese pie. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Had to. You Had can to. microwave that. Yeah, I yeah. can microwave this, <laughs> yeah. obviously. It's today, by the way. It's bought today. Oh, so thank you, you. It's fresh. Okay, perfect. Yeah, okay, thank you. Good. And an LMP. Yeah. Guys, that's really nice. I don't know if you miss any of these things when you're overseas, but whenever I go away from yes. New Zealand, you know, you hunker down for some marmite or no, something. No, I literally like have had a um, list on my phone of the things <laughs> that I've needed to eat this week. And I've made, look, to my shame, I have made my way through that list and I'm now extremely constipated. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what other snacks are going back in the suitcase back home? Okay, got... well, I've, I've got it today. Um, I've definitely got to go to, like, the New World and get some yeah. Vogel's bread. Y yeah, okay. Because that's the kind of thing where, like, you can't, like, order that to ship to you. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You've got to get that fresh. So I'm going to get um, Vogel's, and I've already bought... Well, I ate a fruit juice, but and I I'll, I have to eat a jelly tip by the end of the day as well. <laughs> um, but then I've also got... I've got... What is Chris Chocolate? I've got the Glow Hearts from the Dairy. Oh, you know, you're the actually Anacine going the full thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. Man. I've bought um, Toffee Pops and um, Super Wines. <laughs> Because super wine. Saw, everything you've listed there, we haven't no, even no, no, included no. in the But this pack. is all the stuff like on my extended list oh, that okay. I haven't gotten to yet. I was just yeah. telling you the stuff I've e eaten this week already. I had a hungy pie this beautiful, week. I had mussel beautiful. fritters. Yeah, you're I have been chow yeah, that, and obviously everything I'm describing has very little fibre in it. <laughs> which then makes sense why I'm have you struggling home? a little bit. Have you missed home a little bit? I, I, it's so good to eat. Yeah, and, and... You have a very confused <laughs> so stomach this week. Right? I know, my stomach is like, what is this? Um, but it's been beautiful. And you know what? I got to be here and spend... Sorry, that sound is me putting everything back Oh, yeah, we'll put that away. Bag. You can get to that later. Um, but I've spent the week also here with APRA Song Hubs with um, some of New Zealand's most amazing songwriters and artists kind of all in all these songwriting rooms. So I feel like, you know, I've been, I've, it's 20 years now since yeah. I moved away from New Zealand and um, getting kind of diving in to right back in the thick of what's going on here in music has been so cool just to see. Uh, what's happening, yeah. Did you ever think that this would kind of be where you're at when you first started <laughs> releasing music, that one day you'll be playing with the orchestra and doing a huge show and men now mentoring yeah. other artists and all that kind of stuff? I have no plans. Yeah, and okay. um, my husband and I always <laughs> always laugh about it because I th feel like um, we've, we've really lived such a miracle and um, obviously, as is with life, like... Um, so many unforeseen things, both tragic and brutal and wonderful and um, miraculous. You know, it's all life is all of it, right? Um, but but I feel like on paper it looks like kind of there's been some grand plan. And I think there has been, but it hasn't been mine. And I think that's what um, I think um, why I, I'm so grateful for the life um, that I get to participate in because it really is not of my doing. I really just am a passenger of grace at this point. <laughs> well, you know <laughs> yeah. what? We're, we're, we're the beneficiary of that, so we thank mm. you. You know, when I played arithmetic, right, you had your cans on, your yeah. headphones on, you yeah. went, I could see you just going to another place. So yeah. it has been 20 years, yeah. right? You mentioned that. Do those early songs, do they take, are they taking on a new meaning for you or do mm. they still resonate with how you felt back then? Mm. It's like, well, arithmetic is a... Um, 
is a special one. There's a lot of feelings associated with that to me because I think most of the other songs on that first album, I was, I was literally a teenager when the album came out. So a lot of these songs were songs I'd written in my bedroom after school in my school uniform from Nana College, you know? <laughs> but, but Arithmetic was the first one um, that I wrote. I had, I had moved to Auckland from Wellington and we were making the record and then that song came. And I felt like it kind of almost... Um, within that first chapter was the start of a new chapter for me. I felt like it opened me up into something. And um, and so I feel so much gratitude for that song. And yeah, but just hearing that little girl voice as well, yep. I'm like, oh my gosh, I was so little. And I just, I just um, am really thankful for the people, you know, God brought around me in that time. Because when, you know, now that I'm talking to other artists and younger artists and I'm realizing that my experience um, was a, was exceptionally good and and safe, um, and that hasn't been everyone's experience in the music industry, but I really do feel like I was, um, I mean, maybe I was naive to a lot of stuff, but I was shielded from a lot of stuff. And so I have so much, um, so many good and sweet um, memories of, of that time and um, that first album and everything it represents. Yeah, so it's very cool to be back home and where um, where people know me as this person, which is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> my, my kids don't even know. My kids just found out about Brooke Fraser, yeah, which is right. very funny, and they're like, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, so, okay, so this is, I mean, we're in 2024. Yeah. Ten years ago was your last Brooke Fraser album. Yeah. This is like... Or the last studio. Yeah, 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 sorry. And, and we're going to talk about the, the gig coming up next, actually, in, in depth a little bit. But is this, it says it's one night only, and I know it's only one show, yeah. but is it like a precursor to potentially anything new? No. Okay, yeah, let's cool. get it out of here. <laughs> let's just shut no, that let's down. Get it, let's get it out of here. Yeah. Well, because the people no. will be thinking that, yeah. you know, so... No, it's no? not. This is oh. not, absolutely not. Just oh. a one-off. No, just, just one, and, you know, it was something about a year ago, my management came to me and said, hey... Um, would you be interested in doing one night with a, with an orchestra? And I was like, let me think about that. Yes. <laughs> like, like who gets, who gets that kind of phone call? You know, how amazing is that? So, um, so it was an easy yes for me. I, you know, it's, um, for me, I have two, two beautiful little girls, my husband and I, they're six and eight. And so for me now, you know, every yes that I say, um, is a, is in some ways a no to that. So I have to be, I've, in this, season of my life I'm really um just careful about my yeses and my noes and and boundaries and you know what what what's good for our family and um and all the other things kind of that 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 God's given us to to steward in the season of our life so but this one was like a um like what a joy come to Auckland um get play with and, and orchestra these songs um that are you know so much a part of my journey as well so it's um very sweet yeah we're glad you said yes. yes. Again, Brooke, thanks for taking time out of a very, very busy schedule to hang out with us. We appreciate you. My pleasure. Okay, so you mentioned about five minutes ago about your beautiful daughters. Mm -hmm. So life has happened for you. Mm -hmm. Has being a mum brought something different mm -hmm. to your music? I think, well, well, it's interesting because my, my motherhood kind of um, began – almost in the last couple of Brooke Fraser albums, but still when, you know, I've been, I've been really blessed to be able to write songs for church for a really long time. And so, um, and so I think uh, it, it's, it is a little different. I think that if my, if Brooke Fraser had been my entire musical identity, um, definitely it, it, it would have impacted the, that more because as a mum of girls, particularly, I'm thinking about, you know, what are my girls seeing? What are the words that they are, you know, what, whatever kind of music is, I think the words that people sing over themselves um, have an effect on their life. So, what kind of what kind of words are my girls singing? Uh, what are they seeing? What am I what am I um, teaching them without words about about what it means to be kind of um, a woman? And and you know, for us as well, like a, a, a women that that walk with the Lord. What does that look like? So, I think it's it's different for me because um, uh, yes, yeah, so much of my musical expression and contribution has been uh, in, in worship since they've been little. So, uh, but that's very cool as well in in terms of um, you know they don't actually know any Brooke Fraser songs, <laughs> um, but they know all of the worship songs and yeah. um, and so their their theology is pretty good, which <laughs> which I'm pretty I'm like if you take nothing else, I would rather them have great theology than no no you know no any of my other songs. So. Are they are they going to be at the gig? 
They will, yeah. So this will be like their first introduction to this part of your life. Exactly. We'll be like, what is going on? <laughs> I play, like, all these thousands of people know these lyrics. I've never even heard Honestly, these Honestly, they'll be really confused. <laughs> yeah. Like, hopefully a little bit proud, but mostly confused. I did play the little one, um, Something in the Water, last week, and she was into it and um, said, play that again. And oh, then I, I was like, okay. And then I played her another one. She was like, I don't like that one. Play the other one again. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Too funny. So this show, it's the 22nd of June, by the way. Tickets online. Get them quick. They're going to sell out. I guarantee it. One night only, Spark Arena. You've got the Auckland Philharmonia Orchestra. You mentioned before about how you got approached to do this, because I did wonder, mm. how does that happen? Like, Well, do- my management called me, but I don't really know. I should probably, this. since I'm doing interviews, I probably should find out the answer Does the orchestra yeah. get together and be like, who would we want to do a show with? Yeah. Or like, is, I don't know, it's so know. fascinating to me. Imagine if they're like me. really annoyed about it. They're like, oh my gosh, that Brooke Fraser, I don't want to do well, these I guys, don't play that music. I mean, they must be unbelievably talented at all their oh individual gosh, yes. instruments, right? Do you... Like, how does the actual forming of the show work? Like, yeah. I mean, normally in your band, I mean, it's smaller. You can talk about how you want to make things sound mm-hmm. for a live mm-hmm. show. But when you've got, like, 60 or I don't even know how many people in an orchestra, yeah. how do you actually work together to be like, I want a sound that's kind of yeah. a lot of this? Yeah. Or... I mean, that has been so fun because I'm a, I, I kind of these days, one of my primarily roles is as a producer. So I'm producing yeah. albums and kind of, you know, engage, like we're, we're in the room with musicians creating sounds, you know, together. Uh, and so, but this is a completely different process because I am not in, by any stretch of the imagination, an arranger of orchestrations. <laughs> and so what's been really cool is, you know, the first step was choosing the songs and the order of the songs. And that's really important actually, because obviously if you don't want two really big bombastic arrangements back to back. So the first thing was kind of creating the arc of the night. What are cool. the songs we have? And then we're working with five different arrangers around the country. Um, wow. um, and they all take kind of, you know, two or three songs each. And then then kind of we go, okay, maybe because this song is after this song, before this song, maybe it should sit in this kind of world. And then really they get going and um, and then kind of will, I think, check in with me when they're a little bit further. So I just got the first MP3 of one of the first orchestrations last week and it just absolutely blew my mind. Dude, that like, sounds so intense. Yeah. Man. I, need, I need some <laughs> Panadol after yeah. that. I know. <laughs> and that, so, but really for me, it's kind of, it's the lightest lift for me because really? all of these incredible arrangers are doing the work and then these really skilled musicians who who turn up and are able to brilliantly pay, play what is written on the page in front of them. Um, so I kind of feel like I'm just getting to witness this whole side of music, which I never I never work in this way. Yeah. Um, so, And I have a, actually a Zoom meeting um, later today with the conductor because I don't know what, I don't know how to be conducted. I'm used to like a, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. used to a click track, and I need to know what all the hand. I'm, oh, I need so to like learn to what follow, the hand movements. You have to follow the conductor. Well, I think so. I don't know. That's yeah, what I'll find out on zoom. my Zoom that's today. Zoom. That's what we'll okay. determine. Right. So I'm going to have to learn like what does this mean when you do this with your hand and. So and how do you learn? Cool. How do you learn the names of like sixty or seventy people I in know, the band? I haven't. This morning I was actually thinking I should write thank you notes to each of them, but then I was trying to think about how long will that one take? <laughs> to <What> seventy <laughs> people. What? I'm like I'll have to space that out over a few months. Because we were Brianna and I were just talking before you popped in. It's in June. Yeah. We're in March now. Yeah. So you you got to rehearse. Are you? Do you have to be here like a week before to make sure everything's we'll just in do, line? We'll be here, yeah. We'll be here a little bit before and so have a every- lot of intense rehearsal. No, no, no. So the, the orchestrations are still being written right now. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, okay. okay. All yeah. right. And All then right. we all get because I think how it works is one of the you know one of the beautiful things about New Zealand, which maybe a lot of New Zealanders don't know, is that the the funding for the arts in New Zealand is so incredible comparative to comparative to the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so you know, um, orchestras like the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra and the Auckland Philharmonia um, are, are um, partially or perhaps even wholly, I'm not sure, so I shouldn't say that, but, but definitely um, helped by the government to exist. So I think what happens is they, you know, a year or a year and a half ahead kind of um, have a schedule and then they kind of fill that so that we're going to do one night with this person, we're going to do this Mozart wow. series. Oh, right. for. Okay. So I think it kind of works like that and I'm just very lucky that um, and blessed that I got picked to do a night. Yeah, stepping into that world. Crazy. Well, last question from me before Bjorn wraps it up. Are we going to see you behind a French horn? Oh my gosh, I would love that. Can we we tell people? Can we? Can we try? I don't know. I do know I did play the clarinet. um, You're going to step outside the keys? I mean, that would be apt. Can you imagine how oh, horrible if so I, good. like, <laughs> honky, the, like all these beautiful... I'd love to see you play just... the recorder up the front. Uh, that would be... Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, okay, can we ask, and maybe you can't give anything away, but it's a pretty special night. It's one night only. Yeah. Are there any, like, I know you've played with a lot of 
amazing names over yeah. your career. Are there any special guests that oh, may yeah. join or any like surprises that will be in the show? I can't say quite yet, but I would say that's a pretty good Great guess. question. Oh, Great yeah. question. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We just want to say thank you again thank for joining you. us this morning. You know, we're just feeling inspired and empowered by what you've been saying. And I think people are going to, oh, no, actually, I don't think. We know. If you don't get your tickets now, you're going to miss out on this gig. So it happens in June. We're giving you a massive heads up. You'll probably get all the details at lifefm.co.nz. But on behalf of Life FM, Brooke, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank You're you. awesome. Thanks for having me. Stay beautiful. Bless you guys.